Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be remaking this video. Um, I don't like the quality of the other one. Um, so I'm going to be drawing the Duke Blue Devil logo. So this time around, uh, you know, I'm better at the process. Things will be a little bit quicker. So okay, so first we're simply going to start off with a lightly drawn circle like so then we're gonna you know we're gonna come up here and we're gonna draw another circle then we're gonna add and we're gonna curve it up with a slanted triangle like so then we're going to, after we finish that, we're going to come over here and we're going to do a, another slanted triangle, but facing the opposite way. After that, we're going to come over here to the front. You know, we're just going to make a slight line to divide the circle in half. Let me, let me darken this up for you all. After we do that, we're going to come down and connect it with a triangle, like so. Then we're going to come here to the bottom. We're gonna, I'm just going to simply make an oval like shape. I'm not going to overlap the circle. After that, we're going to come and you know, make a little U shape where the, the bump is coming up. And then after you do that, you just want to curve upward. Curve it down like here. And then you know, add a, another little bump right here. Okay, after we do that, we're going to come down here, and, you know, we're just going to extend it just a little. Let me erase this before it messes, if I mess myself up. And, you know, we're just going to come up and create two lines, and then have them end in a point. Bring, I'm going to bring this line down some. connect them. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make another little dough like shape. I'm going to do a tiny one right here. And then just connect them with a line. Like so. Come back up here. You know, we're just going to come up, make a straight line, and then go into the head. Because basically we're just, we're building the outline in a very simplistic way. So, okay, right here, we're going to just draw an oval. And then we're going to put another curved triangle on top. And we're going to come down and put a V right here. And then you know, we're just going to simply outline all of this. But before we do that, we're going to come down just a little bit. There we go. I'm very happy I'm, I decided to redo this video. I just. You know, I, I just happened to read, look through all my videos and figured the quality for that Blue Devil video was good when I first started YouTube. But now we got, I have a better camera, so I figured I better make a better video, you know. Even though the other video is still doing good, uh, I might just leave it up there. So right here, we're, we're going to make a little C shape. And then we're going to 
we're just going to make a line and then we're going to do the same thing as we did to the rest of the ear just outline it like so alrighty then now for this portion of the video we're going to focus right here on the eye and then we're going to start fleshing out a detail for his face so we're going to make a dough like shape like so and then add another little tail to it or you know turn it this way it kind of looks like a little mushroom right here here's the head and here's the body and we'll go with that so we'll just do that then I'm gonna focus up here really quick um, I'm gonna divide this up and then I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff right here just to remind myself that this part is white and this will be blue down the road but okay so now Let's get down to business. So, th this portion is mostly going to be white, so we're going to have to curve it off. So, we're going to come to this area right here. And, you know, we're going to come really close to the ear. We're just going to come up a little. Make a curve. So, you're going to have a bump here going this way, and then you're going to have a bump going this way. Come up to this line. Curve over just a little, come down. You're going to come up. Make a little V. So make sure you create the letter V. And then we're going to curve to the edge. Now, let's. You remember when we drew this line right here? Well, you, you have we made this dough shape and this dough shape. So we're going to take these two points. We're going to extend them into the head. Then we're just going to curve it off. Like so. After we curve it off, we're just going to come over here. And we're going to basically make a line that comes down make a little V come up just a little bit and then you know as I get over here I'm gonna make it a little wider and I'm gonna just come down and swoop back up make another V right here I mean, not a V, but an M, M like shape. So you're going to make this point and then you're going to curve like so. So after I do that, I'm going to extend my nose just a little bit to connect it right here. So after we do that, we're going to come here and you know, you're going to make a long teardrop like shape. This is right, basically, this is the um, the devil's, what do you call it, little indent in his cheek, his uh, dimple. So, okay, now that we got that that done, we're going to come down here, you know, just make a little straight line. And you're going to make an upside down M shape. Like three little humps like that then come down you know make another little u-shape right here just connect it to that line and we're going to connect this one to the edge so now we're going to zoom out just check our progress okay 
once I get once you get to this portion of the video you want to take a good a look at your reference material and then change anything that you deem um, not worthy or needs to be corrected so like right here I, it's not like it, it doesn't match like this right here is too much so I need to combine them so you know I'll just play around with it since in this stage nothing's permanent and I'll just darken all the lines that I want to keep if you like doing this on poster board you know you don't bear down you want to draw everything nice and light So okay, this. So that's the only thing I really need to fix. I'm just gonna erase this just for the sake of the video. So at this point, well now we're gonna add the outline to the side. So this right here is gonna connect. So you know, just to save myself time, I'm gonna come on the outside instead of the inside. I'm just connect it. And I'm just focus on the outer border. quickly as possible Okay, so once uh, you outline the border, you want to come to this area and you want to add in a little loop, and then you want to come back to the turkey neck area. That's what I call it. So we're going to come back to this little line right here, and we're going to extend it, and we're going to come down here and extend it. So I'm going to quickly turn the page so I can zoom in for you all. Okay, now that we zoomed in. gonna come here not here so I'm just gonna make a line and you know we're gonna make two lines and then just close them off and I'm gonna darken over here because this is gonna be white then we're gonna do the same thing over here we're gonna make two lines and then before we connect it we're gonna come out a little bit so basically it's like a little knife shape you're drawing a knife So that's basically all we have to do on this section. The next section, we're going to come and do a few more outlines that we need here, here and then we're simply going to ink our um, drawing. So, okay. So, this right here looks like a mustache now. It isn't. Um, it looks like that for the sole fact that we got some more final lines to put in. So we're just gonna come here, you know, we're gonna outline this part of his lip. So I'm just gonna come in and connect it right there. And then I'm gonna come to this part of his lip, make another one. And just I'm just gonna create that line but when I get to here I'm gonna make a little V and then connect it all off so I'm gonna place X as to where I want my blue to be for this part 
So now I'm going to quickly zoom out. Okay, so we got the mouth area. So areas like here, here in the head, are blue. This right here is blue. This right here is going to be white. This is going to be white. This is going to be white. This, this, and this. So now that you know that, and if you look at your reference, um, you can go ahead and know what you're going to color in and what you're not going to. So for the sake of this, I'm going to outline mine. And then I'm going to use my Copic B29 um, Ultramarine Blue. If you don't have that color, that's fine. You can use whatever you got disposal paint, mark, uh, uh, like watercolor, uh, Crayola, Crayola uh, crayon, or pencil. It doesn't matter as long as you know you get the color right. So I'm quickly going to do that and. That'll pretty much be the end of the video. Um, I'm just going to speed things along. So if you have any other ideas of what you want to see from Logo Dojo, let me know. Just um, hit me up in the comment section. Tell me on Facebook. And um, like the video. Uh, share it. It really does help. Uh, click the ad. You know, that really helps. Uh, YouTube's ad revenue is being wonky. And just, you know, have a great day, my dishie.